Hey guys, welcome back to MDTV. Today I'm with my lovely friends and we're having a conversation about 10 things young black women should know. Well, yeah, guys, I'm so happy you guys are here today and I really feel like we need well, to have this conversation. Mm -hmm. I feel like the reason I want to have this conversation first was because of what I went through. And it was supposed to be- What did you go through? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to speak. It was, supposed, yeah, it was supposed to be more of like heartbreak and navigating it, but I feel like it's so important for us to like advise young people, advise young black girls, especially mm -hmm. on like, you know, the not, not the do's and don'ts, but certain things you should know. Because yeah. I feel like, I wouldn't say I didn't really have a role model because I feel like I'm my own kind of role model, but 100. it's good to have these conversations and stuff because when I was younger, when it even comes to relationships, pursuing your dreams, I feel like it was a bit clouded. Mm -hmm. So having stuff like this where we can actually listen, people can listen in and learn, I think is really important. So I'm gonna kick us off. And I'll say one thing I would say black women, young black women should know is to always pursue your dreams. Yeah. That there's no, um, what am I, how do I say it? You know when they say it's oversaturated, like, oh, mm -hmm. so many people are doing this. If you have a gift, pursue it, because at the end of the day, your gift is the thing that you're the best at doing, the thing that you put less effort in and you can do best. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's so important for you to navigate, just find your dream and your passion and do it. It's, if you enjoy something, you're good at something, that's what God has given you. Mm -hmm. And never let that, never belittle that or think that you're not worthy of pursuing something, especially if you think a lot of people are doing it or if you think you don't know how to start. I feel like, I know it sounds cliche, but just start. And as a young black woman, it's really important to have a representation. So if that even means beauty industry, if that means you're working in um, the NHS, the health industry, even if that means doing stuff like this, just being in front of the camera, representation matters. And I feel like the way you can represent is when people actually follow their dreams and do what mm -hmm. God has ordained them to do. So I feel like mm -hmm. if you're young and you have a passion and you're good at something, follow through with it because you'll thank yourself in the future. And it just en enables you to not rely on anyone else and Very know that you know, you're know you navigating something that's, is your, is your purpose and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And I feel like as black women, especially when the odds are kind of against us or whatever, we have a lot of stereotypes, seeing women in industry thriving is such a good thing to see. And yeah, I would always just encourage you to know that. I agree. I feel like as well, like maybe even like, especially with black women, I feel like we ourselves kind of box us ourselves in mm -hmm. to one thing as well. So it's like, you can, it, like in terms of like businesses and stuff like that, you can do, anything else as well you know what i mean like as you said like it's fine for you to go into things that are oversaturated to so like hair and stuff like that it's fine for you to go into that and to pursue that as well but it's also fine for you to do anything else mm -hmm. and just try it yeah just young, try it yeah like we're young and you know like I feel like as well, sometimes with black, like with young black girls, especially, I think sometimes, like, you know, with, with the whole like UK black girl aesthetic thing, yeah. that whole argument, it's like, <laughs> wear what you want to wear, you know what yeah. I mean? It's not yeah. like, oh, like people go so far out of the way to show like, oh, I'm not like ever, anyone else. Mm -hmm. If you, if that's you, that's you, mm -hmm. do it. You know what yeah. I mean? Just do it. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean like you don't have to and just be proud don't be yeah. influenced by anyone that's what you yeah. like that's what you like I'm not going to speak on that because I'll leave that to the TikTok people <laughs> <laughs> like, allow me but no, yeah. I, no, I definitely agree and when I say pursuing your dreams I just love seeing like you know you see a black lady or young black woman just thriving and thinking like wow that's I just love seeing that because it shows that firstly I know it's possible anyway yeah. but it just shows that it's possible and you see it and it's, when you see see it you believe it and I just, mm -hmm. I just I just love seeing that like there's a lot of influences with people that I see and like I don't look at anyone saying I want anyone's life or anything, mm. but I look at certain things like, wow, that's beautiful. I would love to achieve that. Well, I'd love to do that. And yeah. like, if you can do that, wow, we can all do something. So yeah, and I'm sure a lot of young black girls look at older black girls and you know, uh -huh. say, I want this to be me. And I feel like that work starts now. Uh -huh. You start to plant those seeds and just wait for it to like grow in the future. So 100%. Yeah. And I think developing a good work ethic from now is so important because like a lot of the time when things will be like, oh, you know, you see people, but it seems far away from you. Mm -hmm. Time will pass anyway. Time has passed. Like we are, how old now? Do you get what I mean? Whereas it seems just like yesterday was in school. So if you want to pursue something, pursue it. Put the time in, put the work in, give it a real shot because we're young and you can do it. If it doesn't work, fine, move on. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whereas like, rather than thinking, oh, it's going to take so long before I can do this. And so like putting yourself off by thinking, oh, too many people are doing it or I don't know anyone doing it. Just sort of give it a go and like take a chance on yourself for sure. Because mm -hmm. now's the time to do it. And otherwise you'll sort of think, oh, what if, what if I had done that? What if I had done this? Mm -hmm. Obviously it's easier said than done, but definitely as a young black woman, you want to try and, you know, just give it your all, go for your dreams. If you, especially if you know what you want to do, yeah. which is a blessing in itself, mm -hmm. you know what you want to do, you know what you're passionate about, give it your all. And to just to add to that, um, honestly, if you're young, not everyone 
like be okay in wanting to just have a nine to five or just be, let's say, a banker. You don't have to be an influencer or consecrate. I feel like with the rise of TikTok, everyone's seeing people live these different lives, aesthetically looks good or mm. or they're just making content, but not everyone's meant to do that. Mm. So if you honestly, you're just smart, you like to go to school, pursue that, that's amazing. If you mm-hmm. wanna be a teacher, if you want to be a doctor, like do those things, not everyone has to live the life of oh, content or stuff like that. I know it's a big market right now. So yeah. if you can do it, do it. But if you're just someone that you just wanna study and work, do that and you should feel great about that because I just I love smart people people that can go to school mm-hmm. get good grades and just pursue a career in that that is beautiful so don't think that you have to have a business or you have to do that if you just genuinely just want to study and work do that like not everyone's going to be an influencer or content creator or just be in social media like that doesn't have to be you and don't force it and don't feel like you need to force it because everyone else is doing it but sorry Ashley. and even like you can do both as well True. even on tiktok now like because i want to go into project management mm-hmm. i've even seen like on tiktok people like day in the life come to day yeah. in the life with me as a oh my gosh, i actually love that you know you know what i mean like edit yeah, if you're so happy you know mm-hmm. what i mean you can do both like and because we're young as well you can you know what i mean like mm-hmm. you can be like wake up get in the morning like get up in the morning come mm-hmm. to work with me la 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 like mm-hmm. you can do both like you can pursue a career as like a nine to five mm-hmm. and put your phone up on a tripod and record yourself right, at work, right. you know what i mean literally just recording yourself going to starbucks so i feel like you can do both as well again like just don't box yourself in true like exactly. just you can do both if you want to like as you said like i think people who pursue careers in nine to five I, that me <laughs> you know what I mean? that, that, like that you know for me like, boy you know, me. <laughs> me but i'm here now this is a real bag god please you know? <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> god, yeah. you know what i mean like <laughs> people who pursue careers like nine to five like don't feel like you're less than mm-hmm. because you like because you're not you don't have a business, you don't have yeah. Yeah. like those things, it's fine mm-hmm. you can, because you can do it both further down the line or even if you don't want to, then fine. Like, yeah. I just don't think you have to do that. Like, but um. you shouldn't box yourself in. Like, just because you do a nine to five doesn't mean you can't content create. And just mm. because you content create doesn't mean that you don't have to do, or you don't, yeah, if you don't feel like you want to, you don't have mm. to do the nine to five. And like, big up like all the girls that are actually doing both. Like, oh, I see some honestly. people come work with me and like, I'm thinking, why well, you even got time, you woke up to put your camera in there. <laughs> you take it to the TV like you're a better person than me or they're going to the gym before like I love seeing that and I I love content like that so I'm so happy you actually said that you can actually do both I was just saying for like people that genuinely just don't care for that just be happy and just knowing what's God's given you your mind you have the ability to just be smart and that is a great gift so yeah Um, the other thing I would say uh, my point (laughs) is boundaries Um, and I feel like boundaries in every aspect of life. I think it's so important for someone to be disciplined with the way they carry themselves. So when I talk about boundaries, knowing your no, like being able to say no and be confident with it and not being, just because, you know, sometimes when black women say no, it can seem aggressive, but like just being no, if you're not comfortable in doing something, being very clear, oh, I don't do that or I don't want to do that. For example, someone that doesn't drink, if you're going out with your friends, they know you don't drink and you should assert that boundary mm. and no one should make you do otherwise. And I feel like that's so important because people, if you respect your boundaries, people respect your boundaries and they will even respect you. So in general, just being able to say no, being able to know your do's and don'ts and standing firm with your boundaries. I feel like it's just so, so important to do that. And it's so important for you to know what you like and what you don't like and let others know that. But not in a disrespectful way, Mm -hmm. just having boundaries Mm -hmm. like in general, so. A hundred percent, I agree. I feel like boundaries are so important, especially as you start to grow. Like in every single relationship that you have, interpersonal relationship, you're Mm -hmm. gonna need boundaries. Even with our parents, you know what I mean? Like Mm -hmm. how like involved they are in our lives as we grow, it changes. So sometimes you need boundaries in place. Mm -hmm. You know, in friendships, as you were saying, having those boundaries in place is important. Um, in you know romantic relationships, it's important to have boundaries because it just saves you. Sure. <laughs> hey, it just saves you. You probably. have that boundary. Yeah, have it. <laughs> <laughs> that boundary. Listen, Trust in romantic me. relationships, just have your boundaries. Mm-hmm. Anyways, okay. also, we're gonna get. So, like boundaries can change as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to be okay with mm-hmm. boundaries changing. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's so funny because I was talking about this the other day, and I feel like sometimes you get into something, and this is how like you're bound like this you think this is my boundaries like accept my boundaries and then like maybe like two three months later you're like Mm, this ain't mm. it this ain't, this it. ain't mm. it and you have to be okay to change that boundaries is what that that boundary as well like this is what i was okay with mm-hmm. but this I'm is what i'm okay yeah it's dynamic yeah it's dynamic it literally it is especially when dealing with people i feel like as a young person a young woman in particular mm-hmm. you can easily 
waste your time, waste your energy, yeah. waste. There's a lot of t- there's a lot of potential for that. Do you get what I'm saying? If you're not careful, <laughs> if you are not careful, especially yeah. with the given climate, you can <laughs> easily waste your time with people. So when you're in tune with your boundaries, you're actually you know self aware. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what you're comfortable with. You know how you feel about certain things. Then you can act on that, and then you can, as you can say, like you can review things and be like, actually, do you know what? Mm-hmm. This ain't it. Yeah, and move on from that rather than sort of going along with something because you feel like okay, I was okay with it before, or you know, I was yeah, even, like, ooh. nah, it's not, it's not worth talk, it because we're gonna get to obviously relationships not worth that, it. but even let's do with romantic relationships. Mm. Boundaries are important because if I have my boundary and my boundary is not being disrespectful, it's just something mm. that I, this is how I want to live my life, mm. and someone's coming to my life, and they don't respect that. Thank you. Bye. So boundaries are so easy to do method of elim- elimination. Mm-hmm. If I've said to someone, okay, where dating but maybe i don't want to do certain things and you're going to look at me crazy oh my gosh that's so great for me because now i know that i don't want to speak to you because mm-hmm. you don't respect yeah. my boundaries mm-hmm. i'm not saying when, i'm just saying for now and that's how okay. i want to live so it even makes you understand things it just puts things in perspective and things are clear for you yeah. you know these are my boundaries you've explained it to someone if they do like you as they say or love you or respect you they'll be like okay mm-hmm. i respect your boundaries yeah. let's we can't do that but let's do other things like let's yeah. get to know each other in this way mm-hmm. if you explain your boundaries to someone and they start getting mad at you for your boundaries, you need to look at that and be concerned. It's like, do mm-hmm. I stay in a situation like this? That's why I feel like when you have boundaries, you know your do's and don'ts, it's quicker for you to just not entertain or indulge in situations that are not meant for you. Like, personally. 100%. Like, and taking things for face value, you know? <laughs> taking, <laughs> literally taking stuff like, listen Girl, to what they, see what they do, not what they say. Okay. Like, because people... <laughs> Mary, I'm like, let's not. Just say it. I'm just saying. I'm, I just, this is, this is not. If you're going to what you feel like, we're going to get there, but you can start us off. This is okay. not as, at anyone. I'm just saying, as a young lady, take things as face value. Mm. When you've got, like, when you're the type of person where, you know, you're a nice person, you're honest, you expect other people to be the same as you are. Do you get what I'm saying? And they're not. Mm-hmm. Do not believe what people are telling you. Some people will purposely try to deceive you mm-hmm. when you can see what it is your, you know, your eyes are telling you, the actions are telling you. Mm-hmm. Just take things at face value. Obviously, it's nice to extend grace and to give people the benefit of the doubt. But a lot of the time, mm-hmm. it will come back and bite you in the butt. Right. Because you should have seen what right. the material was mm-hmm. and dealt with it accordingly. People, you know, they try to convince you otherwise and, Mm. you know, excuses and there's like, listen, Mm. take things at face value, stick to your boundaries and your standards and don't let it lower for anyone because you will eventually be like, yeah, okay, well, at that point, I should have been like, yeah, I'm saying when you look back, it's always that. Yeah. Why didn't I leave at that point? Exactly. Or why didn't I leave at this point? Do you know what I mean? But um, obviously it's good because you learn. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Life is about learning. We're still young. All of these, like, you should be grateful for these situations and, you know, experiences because, you know, it teaches you about yourself. It teaches you about how you handled it. Do you know what I mean? And you can move on from that and you're one step closer to being the person you want to be or being with the person you want to be. So definitely take it, like, be grateful. Mm-hmm. But if you can limit... <laughs> limit it where you can Lim- limit it where so you can if we're talking about boundaries you might as well go into like standards and not compromising things in life yeah. so what would you say about standards Emma Chappelle definitely I feel like you have to have and it's so easy as well I mean people say like you have to have standards but I think you have to really sit down with yourself mm. and really reflect on what your standards are mm-hmm. right. because it's easy to just say like oh like the generic things like I want, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like the generic things in, in life, like yeah. it's easy to just say like, oh, like I want the, gen- like, I don't know how to describe it. I want a man it. that, yeah. I want a man who, yeah. you know, he yeah. does this, Rich he does like that. that. Yeah. But, but what does that, you have to think, okay, I want a man that, but let's think of the the, the things that people don't think think about. Character. Character, yeah. is he yeah. kind? Is he generous? Mm. Is he understanding? And Can kind he communicate? of you as well, but you have to think about yourself as well. Like what yeah. do you, in terms of like, what, what will balance me yeah you know what I mean like I feel like in relationships as well sometimes it's easy to like look at the other person Mm -hmm. but I think you have to also be like who am I willing to be in a relationship Mm. right and one what what am I willing to To give in yeah put to put up with as well Mm. like and I think once you start to actually sit down with yourself you'll realize okay cool this is what I'm willing to, you know yeah. what I mean? This is where, and this is where I'm, I'm willing to compromise as well. Oh, compromise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Compromise. But even, no, no, but even like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this is this, but this is how far I'm willing to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and that's when, and it's only when you sit down with yourself, you're like, okay. And you have that conversation. Yeah. And conversation it changes stuff. from yeah. person to person. I right, feel like yeah. what you said is so true. Standards are personal. Mm. So like for me, I have some friends that will tell you crazy things. 
you know. Let's be social media, everything. Some girls will tell you if you don't have this job, drive that mm. car, da 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 da. I can't speak to you. Mm. That's their standard. Mm. I don't take nothing again. Absolutely, that's your choice. Well, well, but if it's important yeah. to you, yeah. it's like you have to think what is important to me. What am I willing to put mm-hmm. up with in a relationship? What do I want out of a relationship? And just stick to those standards. If it's, for example, you know, you're really big on how someone makes you feel, mm-hmm. and you know, as Mariam said, you know, characteristics, mm-hmm. kindness, mm-hmm. generosity. Things that you know, especially when you know you can offer those things, mm-hmm. do not let You're them not standards easy. slip. Right. Because as soon as they do, and it's, oh, sorry, babe, it's because of this. Sorry, babe, it's because of that. Oh, that's it's not my love. That's not my love. It's a slippery, 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 slippery slope. slope. <laughs> it is a slippery slope we, from we there. I'll tell you that for free. Yeah, no. Incompatible. Hey, Maria. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Should we start? You know what? Let's not. We're going to get to that. No, and I agree. I absolutely agree. And to be fair as well, don't go like st- I feel like a lot of people base their standards off of social media as well yeah. and please those people are not doing what they're what yeah like, it's not real you know what I mean they're putting up with so much more in real life exactly like, and I feel like yeah like people will come onto social media and be like that could never be me and it's like man that is you, 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 you that, that is you <laughs> <laughs> that is you, that is you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just like, I feel like as well, don't base your standards off of social media. Literally sit down with yourself, be with yourself and actually, you know, act, and even just write it down. Yeah. Because even when you see it on paper, you're literally like, oh my God. It's just realistic. It's, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, 100%. So I just feel like, yeah, just don't even base it off of social media or what you see. Like people will swear that they're the baddest yeah, no, <laughs> and actually true. be in their bed crying. No, so 100%. please don't. Like, And I always say as well, yeah, like, as a young black woman, sometimes it's harder for us to give ourselves advice, yeah, but like, yeah. think of it as if it was my friend. Yeah. So like, I'm so yeah. close to Mariam. If Mariam came to me and told me this is the situation, or this is what she's trying to do, yeah. I would always try to put her first and be like, no, you deserve better than this, yeah. or that's really good, I'm happy for you. So think of it like, do I deserve this? Am I such a bad person yeah. that I deserve all of this <laughs> stuff? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, think of it critically, because otherwise what you don't want to do is sell yourself short. Yeah. Because, you know, everybody else is doing this and you know you want this or you want and then you end up setting yourself in your position where it's sort of like you're settling for something that's below you yeah have your standards you know make sure that they resonate with you and not anybody else and stick to them because you have to but when you stick to your standards you'll realize that the experiences you get are above that yeah you know what i'm saying it gives yeah. you a minimum if you don't have standards <laughs> listen yeah. In anything yeah. can run. Do you know what I'm saying? And I feel like standards are important. Going on to like my next point. This is probably not going to even be 10 things. We're just going on, but it's fine. Um, compromise. Mm. There's a difference between settling and compromise, but we'll talk about settling because that's in its, its own segment. Yeah. <laughs> but compromising, I feel like as black women, especially like know when to compromise and yeah. know when compromising makes sense. Yeah. So let's just say in terms of like relation, let's say um, I wanted someone, I want to marry someone that's six foot three. Compromising is saying, okay, he's not six foot three, but he's like five eleven, six one. Okay, but he's taller than me in heels. Like these are compromises. Yeah. But I'm just saying that because we're gonna talk about certain things soon. But it's just like, see, there's certain things you can compromise, but certain things you cannot afford mm-hmm. to compromise. And that's what we could settle in. So if I know that I want a loving man, a man that can take care of me, a man that's mm. gonna just be loyal to me. But let's say I find a man, he has a lot of money, which means he can take care of me. But let's say he cheats on me. But because he buys me things, oh, it's okay. No, you're settling. You all know you're settling deep and down. And I feel like black women, mm. young women should understand that you need to, I know it sounds cliche, but you need to love yourself and be able to do things for yourself. So when someone is giving you that, you're, if, if someone's giving you that at the expense of something else, something else, you're able to leave because you're thinking, are you you're cheating on me? Myself. But because you're getting me bags, I'm going to stay. But I can get myself a bag. So it's just like, I will leave because I can mm-hmm. afford to give myself that life. I just want someone, because with me, I just want someone that likes me. <laughs> because men, a lot of men don't like their ladies. No, yeah. As long as you like me, major I'm, keys. You know, so what I'm major keys. Is, is that like, mm-hmm. if I'm in a situation, oh, but yeah, he can provide for me. He has money, but he cheats on me. I don't want that. And that's me settling because I know I want someone that can just be with me. Mm-hmm. Like, please, just like me and do things with me. Don't be no infidelity. Looking so, for more. Yeah. So if I'm a young lady, a lot of girls stay in situations, but he's buying me all of these things. Please uh, try to work in a life where you can be self-sufficient. Mm-hmm. So then when a man does something to you, you don't feel like you have to stay because it's like, well, if I leave, how am I going to be able to get that? And that's a lot of people actually in situations like that. And it's so sad when I see it because it's like, I always say to maturity, I'm not that hungry. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not that hungry to stay in this situation <laughs> because we're going out to eat. I'm not that desperate because you're getting me a bag. We can all buy ourselves nice things. Well, I, you know, we'll, yeah. eventually we will be able to, or even if you don't, eventually you will be mm-hmm. able to. But it's just like, not settling for certain things because it will bite you in the butt. <laughs> no, literally, 100%. literally. Settling is just a no-no. You just need to understand who am I, what do I want for myself? And 
when you know that, you won't settle. You know the lifestyle you want for yourself. You mm. know what, how you want to feel on a daily uh, basis. Exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? So in a relation, like we need to understand we're at the age now. We're 20, what, 24? 25. The person yeah. you're with is your potential husband, mm. your potential baby father. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's a lifelong decision. Do you right. see what I'm saying? So you don't want to be with someone when there's certain things there, fundamental things that are not aligned. Do you right. get what I'm saying? And it's difficult in this day and age because, you know, a lot of the time these men, they don't even know themselves. They mm-hmm. don't know what they want themselves. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, you have to actually sit down think and be like, is this what I want? If it's not, literally just leave it it's better to do it now than to wait and then be in a position when you're feeling like oh i've invested so much time and energy with this person like no as marion was saying being a thoughtful person being a, these things it's nothing to do with money right is your mindset it's that, it's some you men, character you know no, some honestly, men have that mindset honestly. they have a provider's mindset they're thoughtful they're kind they're generous some men they could have everything but they're just selfish you, you know what i'm saying it it's well. not something, so you need to really hold on to those things look at those things that are important and make decisions accordingly because you don't want to be in a position where you've looked back and you spent your youth mm-hmm. with somebody that was not aligned not equally yoked and here we are now mm-hmm. do you know what i'm saying you you've got so many regrets like just literally do not settle there is someone out there for you mm-hmm. and there's someone out there for everyone yeah do you get what i mean so and mm-hmm. just be patient work on yourself everything is not about man mm-hmm. do you know what i'm saying work on yourself be happy make other meaningful relationships friendships you know family like Focus on yourself and being the person you want to be so you can do those things for yourself mm-hmm. anyway. Yeah. So when the man comes, it's, it's like, a okay, it's, it's a bonus. Literally. It's not like you need a man. Do you get what I'm saying? 100. Nobody needs a man. Facts. Nobody needs a man. Like, Sorry. let's be for real here. And what? you shouldn't. I feel like yeah. you, shouldn't, you shouldn't need to have any. You shouldn't that, need yeah, anyone. You, you need should it, want, yeah, yeah, definitely. We all want romantic, you know, yeah. connections, but nobody needs that. Like, and you should be in a position where you're happy on your own. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if when that does happen, it's great. Yeah. Rather than you trying to fill a void because you feel like, and then you'll end up settling for things that don't make sense. I agree. No, I agree. I totally agree. Yeah. The other thing I would say black women should know is to practice self-care. And what and that's whatever it looks like for you. Mm-hmm. Like, I love when I see girls taking themselves to spa days. Like, mm-hmm. luxury doesn't have to be designer. Luxury can just be, a luxury to me is when I'm at home, my room is clean, I have yeah. food and I'm just watching something. No one's at home. I'm just, every, I'm just so peaceful. Like <laughs> no one wants self-care to you. No one wants yeah, luxury yeah. to you. And just doing nice, being kind to yourself. Because mm-hmm. a lot of, let's say, black women, we, we, we are hard on ourselves and stuff like that. So I'm always putting time aside to, that's what I love when I see girls, you know, when it's maintenance day. Yeah. Those your nails, yeah, your lashes, yeah. like look good and stuff like that because it's so important. And these are things that you don't, but it actually does help your mental health. Yeah. So mm-hmm. whatever luxury or self-care looks like to you, always make sure you're doing things to make yourself feel better. And just to do better, I feel like when you look good, you feel good. Yeah. And stuff like that. And I feel like just just do things that are good for your mental health. Like, I think it's so, so important to take it easy on yourself and be kind to yourself. And if that means spend a little extra on that month to go to your nails, go to your hair, then do it. Because I feel like people always talk about, oh, self-care. And when you think of self-care, everyone's saying, oh, get this. But it's just, it, it's within mm-hmm. and just making yourself. And that could even go into things like, let's say even starting therapy. And for, I think I love seeing people start therapy, speak to someone and just be, mm-hmm. just being vulnerable with yourself. Cause all of that is self care. Cause you you're taking you're care therapy. of your mind and you're making, even when I see stuff like seriously, even going to Pilates. Like I love yeah. when I see people in the morning, oh my going to Pilates at 8 a.m., <laughs> have a juice. Like I love seeing, being, an, being very, pro, yeah, I'll say being proactive. Mm-hmm. Being About, a proactive yeah. black girl is one of the best things you can do. It feels good, you look good, and you're just doing things that are gonna help you in the long run, keeping in shape, yeah. you know, taking keeping care of yourself, mental, right. your mental, reading, go to therapy, like mm-hmm. all of these things, they will help you in the future. And it just helps you to become, Firstly, to know more about yourself and just to be kind to yourself yeah. and like yourself. So I would always 100%. encourage that. Yeah, I definitely agree. And I said with therapy, like I it, I recommend everyone to go to therapy. Have mm-hmm. you been to therapy? I've seen a therapist, but yeah. it didn't last long. The day I saw my friend, I, I need a tissue. Everybody. It was face to face. She was sitting there and I was sitting here. She was like, it's okay. Yeah, like it's I okay, would recommend best. everyone. I just feel like, why do you not want to work on yourself and be yeah. the best version of yourself? Like deal with a lot of the things that happens in our childhood and our environment does affect us and we yeah. don't know. So it's just like being able to be real with yourself and, you know, get to the bottom of that. And just as Mariam said, be kind to yourself. Like we all want good for ourselves. Yeah. And I feel like when you start to, you know, work on that process of digging mm-hmm. deeper, it's always a good thing and it's always positive. Yeah. For sure. I agree. Yeah. 100% agree. And I feel like it's a, a, like if I was going to advise a young black girl watching this in terms of therapy, I mean, I, we can only say what we've like, what we've been through in it. Yeah. Advice. Like, so for me, I went to therapy and it was with someone who wasn't black. The right. therapist wasn't black. Same. And they started whispering. Whispering? 
in the therapy, like, it's okay it's okay, like, speak to me. Like, you know what I mean? And the whispering, oh and, God, no. and that was just my experience. And it was so, it just felt so condescending. Yeah. And I was just like, can she talk normally? You <laughs> yeah, know honestly, what I mean? Like, baby and yeah. then it ruined therapy for me for oh, a bit. Okay. I went back and I had a black therapist, mm-hmm. a right. black woman, and it was one of the best experiences that oh, I'd wow. had. So I was like, yeah. Like, I feel like, whereas you kind of linked back to what you were saying in terms of like, seeing black women in certain areas where they it usually helps. yeah it helps it helps yeah. a lot so i feel like if a black girl was is watching this like a young black girl please like see if you're thinking about therapy the first step because it can be daunting as well you mm-hmm. know what i mean no one talks to you about like where do you even go oh I, I, this, you know I, mean? I was googling you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> when, you get, like, when you get to the same position you're like it won't yeah. be daunting <laughs> <laughs> you, you will want it i was calling numbers hey <laughs> I was like, yeah yeah i just called Did you just, yes <laughs> you will seek it trust me it gets to yeah. a point in your life you have to go therapy. Yeah. Like whether you like it or not, Mm-mm. you're gonna have to go. You will be looking for numbers. Like they, you will look, you'll see an advert on TikTok. We'll come, we'll click it. Well, I've seen better health, yes. <laughs> That's me. I can't Sorry, I just go. No, I agree. It's actually wow. One hundred percent. Because yeah. that again it links back to the self awareness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you're yeah. self-aware and you understand these things, you can then understand why you move the way you move, why yeah. you handle certain situations the way you do. And it's helpful. Do you, know yeah. so you can work on that, you can become better. And it's just so important. One thing that is so important for every black woman or black lady, young, old, I mean, so far for me, friendship and sisterhood. Like it is so, so important. Do not underestimate the importance of these communities. Like, especially sort of, you know, as you grow up, you know, you may not be as close with your friends, you make new friends, some of them, like you just need to make sure that you still maintain those good friendships that you need because they will come through for you in ways that other people can't. Right. especially when you need them do you know what i mean it's like we're all young like you're gonna go through ups and downs you're gonna you know have relationships have heartbreaks everything but your friends your sisters are always there for you like your true friends they will support you in ways that you could never imagine mm-hmm. and it's just like focus on those relationships don't sort of you know like you, when you need your friends then you have them there yeah. and then you're back to doing whatever no mm-hmm. like focus on those relationships yeah. water them mm-hmm. it's good. so important because as you grow up you will you'll grow with each other and that wisdom, that support is literally priceless. Like it's literally like a community. And I think it's so, so, so important for every single woman or young woman. To enjoy. But I yeah. feel like not a lot of people might have good examples of good friendships. Like if you had a bad experience, it might make you deter you from seeking mm-hmm. that friends. Like True. I'm scared of people that say I don't need friends or I have no friends. Cause I'm thinking, how do you navigate? Cause as, as much as we can all act like independent, I do things on my J's or whatever. We need friends. Like God yeah. created all of us to get to know. Like we yeah. need friends. You need even companionship. You need it. So I do feel for people that feel like they can just be by themselves. They don't need friends. I feel like it's important if you have good friends to maintain and be a, try to be a good friend yourself. Exactly. As yeah. much as you know how to receive energy and give energy to your friends, I feel like when you have good friends, it makes life a bit more easier. Like sometimes I, be, yeah. I might be sad, but I'll spend like a phone call I have half an hour with my friends and I feel like life is worth living again like there's no one that can speak to them about anything there's no judgment and they can just be there for me but I feel like if you have experienced that bad friendship support it's kind of hard to know to give other people a chance yeah so yeah I feel like sometimes as well people are good friends to the wrong people Mm. and it can scar them and I feel like just for those people like you do need to um just have hope that they mm-hmm. are like your people are out there yeah be positive and yeah, yeah be positive and like and know that like so long as you're a good person people like good people will be attracted to you mm. so it's like right. you know what i mean like just because you've gone through that because we've all been good friends to the wrong the, the people, people yeah. at some point in your life For you know sure. what i mean like and no shade to those people but the people in your life now um, are who is meant to be there exactly and yeah, yeah and like and you'll and get to a point when you yeah. look around and you're like I'm so happy with the friends that I have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like you look around the room and you're like, I'm so blessed with such good friends. Yeah. And like knowing yeah. that you will never lose anyone that you weren't meant to lose. A hundred In a way, like even if you lose them, even if the, you had a great relationship, maybe that's what God wanted for you. And just yeah. understanding that, um, knowing that being happy with your situation, like sometimes it's sad because not every relationship is supposed to last forever. Yeah. Some yeah. friendships you'll be thinking, I never thought about like, we're not friends today. And it's just like, Okay, it's supposed to teach you something. Yeah, Yeah, it's supposed to teach you something, and then you move on, and you might be upset because people always talk about like you know. Well, personally for me, I haven't had a really a friendship breakup that's made me like so so sad. But some people experience friendship breakup, and apparently it feels like a heartbreak, like to your partner. And people underestimate how 
sad it can be. So when you lose friends, I know that it can be hard, but knowing that you're loved by others, and I'm sure there's yeah. people out there that love you and just challenging your energy there. Yeah. Exactly. And there's something I also want to say about friendships. I feel like when you're, trying, when you're getting older, it's important to know that love your friends for who they are. Mm-hmm. Your friends are going to have their own identities and be their own selves. Mm-hmm. So I had to, I, I've actually learned that like, because with me, when I was younger, much younger, we used to try to control like what my friends did. I'd be like, why don't you like, why don't you act like this? Like, be like me. Like, mm. let this, let, why don't you have my values and stuff? But at mm. the end of the day, I've learned that as long as my friends are genuinely nice person and I'm good to them and they support me and they just do what friends do, you can't control what they do outside of that. Like, they're their yeah. own being. They might have their own, of course, if their values and morals are not crazy, like, why do you think like that? Because mm. some people, I cannot be your friend due to how you think. It could be, yeah, if it's proper crazy, like, look, like I don't agree with that, but some people just have their own identities and just accepting your friends for who they are, but except, but also being friends with them because of how they make you feel and like yeah. how you guys are together because we're all getting older right now. So you can't even be like, well, she didn't do this. Well, she doesn't do this, but that's her. Mm-hmm. How does she make you feel? What do you think? Yeah. I mean, I agree. I mm-hmm. agree that you should, you should the kind of like what you said, like see people for who they are. Kind exactly. Of thing. Like yeah. I agree. I also feel like a big thing is as well as a good friend is kind of calling your friends out, not in a rude way or oh, disrespectful, right. yeah. Yeah. but yeah. kind of sitting them down and being like, let me hear what you have to say because you know I've seen you do this, I've seen you do that and I'm not really happy with oh, what you're doing yeah. and I feel like you can do better mm-hmm. because as well, like kind of what you were saying, like it's easy to, it's easy to just be that friend that's just like, you know, whatever you want to do is what you want to do, so long as you're happy. But no, sometimes I'll, you do like no, I agree. Yeah. No, I was saying that an extent. Like some people are just different, have ways, different ways of living life. Yeah. Like, just saying. But then again, I do. I'm trust me. I call out my friends. If you yeah. do something where I feel like that is crazy, I'll let you know. Like, why did you do that? Or yeah. I'll speak to you. I'm not. I'm not scared of anyone or scared of my friends to not t- to not tell them when yeah. they're wrong. But some people are. Yeah. Oh no, no. Some I people feel, are. Yeah. So yeah. I don't want anyone to misconstrue what I'm saying. Yeah. I just feel like your you friends are going to be their like, own people. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, as I long agree. As they're yeah. used to you and they're just good people yeah. in general. But you can't like control how they are or so, what like, they're yeah. doing. Respecting their autonomy. Yeah, yeah respecting so, their autonomy and stuff. To be able to make their own decisions. Yeah. But however, said, holding your friends accountable, yeah. being honest with them, those are very because yeah. otherwise you're just yes men. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not a yes man. And, Do you know what I mean? And good sisterhood starts from being able to have uncomfortable conversations. Yeah, because I did that. I I feel like there was like I feel like there's been times where I've how do I say it like I feel like there's times where you you don't even realize sometimes like where you enable yeah yeah and it's like oh and then it gets to a point where you sit back and you're like I'm not helping this I'm not yeah, helping I'm not, you know I mean I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't do this and yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, I spoke to you earlier and I just think like obviously I always say to my friends you can do what you want yeah it'll be wrong of me not to give you this advice yeah because at the end of the day yeah. i can give you i can send you a paragraph and you might do the country <laughs> so you see me i don't kill myself for no yeah you know? yeah but i'll say you can definitely do what you want but this is my advice and how i would handle it and i just want to give you a bit of insight to this yeah if you like listen to me if you like don't listen to me but yeah. i can't be yeah. fake enough to sit down knowing that you're causing disruption in your life yeah. without me helping you as a friend that's where i step yeah. into and of course people have to go through things and learn things but at the end yeah. of the day when everything happens, I can sit back and say, well, I did advise her. I did yeah. try to help her out, but she didn't want to do that. And why? Because she's her own, her own person. person. And sometimes yeah. if you don't hear, yeah. you'll, you'll feel. feel. So, yeah. yeah. No, 110%. I, I feel like I'm so lucky where a lot of my friends are very similar to me. We right. have the yeah. same values. We have the same. Yeah. So it's just like, it's easier because the advice I'd give Mariam is the advice she'd give me, if yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So it's easier. Okay. But in any s- sense, you still have to be there so you're just not like as you know when they say like it's like an echo like you're basically saying stuff and you're just hearing yeah. back what you want to hear yeah. no like you have to be honest with your friends you have to have those uncomfortable co- um, conversations because otherwise you're not going to grow mm-hmm. do you know what i mean and growth is so so important you don't want to be friends with someone for years and both of you are in the same position you was oh in at the start and you being the that's friend not... that's receiving that don't take it to heart like they're your yeah, friend they cool. like you Listen. Like, i'm so sorry if you're moving wayward or not even wayward if you're just doing something where i can see you're probably it's doing better, or you're just not yeah, the best for you. Yeah. And your friend tells you because you your friends are always right, you know. Sometimes and you're I'm defensive sorry. about yeah. it. Um, more so more times they, they are. They see them from the outside. Yeah, because sometimes it's hard. Like your friend's situation, and you're thinking, "I'm on the outside. You're going through this relationship. It's hard for you to see things, but I can yeah. see it." So you ask my as I said, you can do what you want, but let me just give you an insight to how it looks. And I always yeah. say to my friends, "If I came to you, what would you say to me?" Fact. Like whenever yeah. my friends go through something, I'm like, "Okay, but it's crazy if I said this to you, like." what would you say to me? Yeah. And yeah. she's like, mm, you know what, it's true. It's true. And give them grace as well. Mm. Yeah. I feel like there was, like, there was a time, I'm talking all my business on here. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time where I was in a situation 
where it was like, I need to myself as well. Because you always know as well. Like, yeah. you always know. At the back of your mind, you want to ignore it, but it's clean. there. You know <laughs> what I mean? A little Trust a little whisper. Trust your girl. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You always know, and it's always there. You can always hear it, but you just don't want to hear it at that moment. Mm-hmm. And, like, my friends were telling me, like, you've got to go. Like, you've got to go. Listen. You've got to let, you've mm-hmm. got to let this go. And it's like... Mm, you know what I mean? And you don't want to hear it. And it's like, then it's causing friction and stuff like that. And it's yeah. like, you do need to, like, when your friends point out stuff, take it with a pinch of salt and know that it's coming from a good place. Right. Exactly. Like, don't take it exactly. to heart. Like, know that it's coming from a good place and that they, they want you to be better. Uh-huh. So, one thing I would definitely say is making sure to trust your gut. Your gut feeling never, ever lies to you. Never. Like, Speaking from personal experience and Same experience men. from others, Same when, it comes to <laughs> Let's men, keep it when it comes to men, relationships, if you feel like something's changed, something's off, trust your gut. Nine times out of 10, 10 times out of 10, you're right. And I just feel like having good friends, having good counsel, counsel around you will definitely help for you to identify that. Mm. But it's always good to like not like gaslight yourself or make yourself feel like, oh no, like who do you trust more, yourself mm. or somebody else? He's telling you, oh, it's not true. It's just because of this. Give me excuses. Trust your gut. Trust mm-hmm. yourself. If you know something off, most likely it is off. So remove yourself from that situation and reevaluate what you want to do. Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? I feel like as a young black or any young person, you're going to go through heartbreak. It's normal and it's mm-hmm. okay. Embrace it. Do you know what I'm saying? I know it's easy to say, trust me. <laughs> it's, it's easier said than done. Mm-hmm. But embrace heartbreak. Like you learn so much. Like, it's always hard. You will probably go. Yeah. And like, if you haven't, normal, you should. If you and haven't. You yeah, should. if you haven't. I feel like the younger, the better. Let me just put 100. it out there. The younger, the better. Because hmm, you don't want to be, you know, your manager's telling you you're supposed to be at work. <laughs> <I'm>, anyway, <laughs> can, can, be at we, work. <laughs> can we share some of the things that heart rate like this? Oh, like, listen. Like, it doesn't have to be too deep, but like. Starving. Listen. Starvation. <laughs> Guys, no, I was a like, UK size you, eight. <laughs> UK size <so, laughs> eight. People will be like, you look so good. No. <laughs> all I'm going to say, if you go through my notes, you'll call the police. Like, yeah. I, look, I actually look at my notes in 2023 and from 2018, I'm thinking, wow, you've grown so much, Mariam. Like, 100%. What heartbreak can do to you? And it's so crazy because, like, please allow yourself to heal. Like, yeah. when Tracy's saying trust your gut, trust your gut because <laughs> whoever a man shows you he is from the first time, listen to him. 100. I feel like we're all humans. People talk about, I'm religious, but people talk about the universe. The universe doesn't lie to you. Like, when you're with certain people, your spirit cannot, can be not be settled like there's sometimes mm-hmm. we just feel like this something doesn't feel right if something feels off and do you know even like if you if you cr- if you're craving someone too much that's also a bad sign yeah because it's, it's an unstable you know connection I mean? yes. yes it's yes. not unstable yeah. yeah what is it magnets how does it go yeah you yeah. know what i mean that's like, such a great oh, and, like, and that's and that's another thing like when when you're literally like you're sitting down by yourself and you're craving that person it's or that's also unhealthy mm-hmm. like because then it's you, it's kind of like an addiction it's, and it's you know not a I mean? secure attachment you and don't feel like yeah. you have them and that's why you want them so much like it's so important to be in tune with these things a like hundred. it is so important because and otherwise see it yeah like, oh. otherwise because uh-huh. even like ah mm, anyway yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. i'm gonna laugh <laughs> Barry, yeah. I know. with me i'm crying in that like <laughs> listen oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> correct. The way ah. no. you guys just Maria. know that you know, you know that night. I think I should have written your paragraph. Just know that I slept in her room. Like at- <laughs> heartbreak is no. Nah, do you know what? It's so. Heartbreak. You see what I think about heartbreak. It's so good because you can never ever go back to that. You know. Uh-huh. But when you experience heartbreak and you realize how someone has treated you, and you're thinking when you hear when you learn your worth, all of that. Yeah. You realize your worth and you you cry. Sometimes in life is how they made you feel after that made you realize I can't ever I can't even, that again. Uh-huh. Like I couldn't breathe, and you think I will go back to that type of man or go back to you personally. Like I feel like. Grow from heartbreak and learn. How did that person make me feel? Is that why I wanted a man? Yes, they made me feel upset and stuff like that. How mm-hmm. did they navigate the relationship mm-hmm. and stuff? Because I feel like people need to understand young girls, ups and downs are like, for example, <laughs> you're speaking to someone, they can probably end up feeling ill. They might lose their job. Like trying to, where humans be there for that person because they, you know, life might not be laughing for them. An up and down is someone, is not when someone is cheating on you. Mm-hmm. I, for me personally, I will never see that as ups and downs because that's a straight down and there's nothing I can do with you after that. Mm-hmm. Personally, for me, some people stay, they're stronger than me. But what I'm trying to say is we need to understand ups and downs shouldn't be done with, it shouldn't be cheating. It shouldn't be neglect. It shouldn't be someone just gaslighting you emotionally. Yeah. Like you need to, I know it's so hard, but you need to learn from things and just try to pin things out. Like, okay, we're in a relationship, but 
this is how you speak to me. Is this how you're supposed to be speaking to someone that you love? That you, someone exactly. that you take care of? Well, uh, you've done something wrong to me. Let's communicate. Why is it all the time I want to address something to you? You're being defensive. Oh, that means okay. things are not oh. right. You need to be able to know for real. Oh, okay. And I feel like it's so important. It's Younger true. girls, that's why I always, if you're young, like, try not to make relationships your forefront. Mm -hmm. Like, we're, we're still young as well. And I will even say to us, try not to make relationships our forefront mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Because really and truly, it's, it's it comes with a lot. But then again, when I say it comes with a lot, that's just you trying to like love a person and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Your lot shouldn't be, he's cheating on me. Your lot shouldn't be, he's, uh, he's you know, emotionally abusing me, all of that. It right. shouldn't come with that. Like heartbreak is hard. So when you do go through it, I would try to say, <laughs> try to learn the first time. No, 100 Because no, but I find the second heartbreak. And you know what they say? No, they nah, say that you, you should nah, like you know, nah. I don't think that. I feel like once <laughs> you go through the, you know, I feel like once you go through the first heartbreak, like now I feel like that first is a little. Well, for me, no, it's a little that, one too. That huh? first, no, that first. But you see that second that's... nineteen year old. No, honestly, you see, because you just don't, you don't see further than your heartbreak. Mm. You're surrounded, like you're reminded yeah. every day. Oh, we that you see a McDonald's. Oh, you yeah, yeah, bought yeah, me chips yeah, that yeah. time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like everything. No, generally, no, I promise you. See when you're younger, yeah. Everything is that you you can't see past that heartbreak. Like for me, anyway, I couldn't see past that heartbreak. I'm listening to a song oh God. Like, you know what I mean he paid yeah. me the song like I'm so sorry no, that, husband, that first happened you have to you have to the second understand one that this is would you temporary. say when you're in college like looking now would you have like not spoken to people absolutely not what was my business I that's what me was as my well. business I, have, I, have, I, don't, I don't even know so I have no, but I'm happy that I did I feel like I'm happy that I did but if I could go back Absolutely not. That man would remain a friend. Maybe not even a friend. I'm you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I could go, but I'll just be that man. Do I be like, no one's give bun. Yeah, <laughs> learn how to give bun. No, no listen. Kids. You learn can't be too nice. Okay. You cannot be too nice. Everyone laughs at me when I say like, I feel like in college, I did like I don't think I've ever had a hoe error, and I feel like I've, oh, I, I know I haven't. You know what I mean? And I, I, and I, and I, I don't I've never had that. a hoe error, no, no, and I don't encourage it either. But it's so funny because like when I speak to other people who like they'd say like oh like I've never had like heartbreak, I've never been heartbroken. It's because they had a hoe phase. Okay. And I'm literally okay. like, is that the cheat code? Because well, I miss <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, well, I miss like, Y'all should have told me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I was being heartbroken in college. Rock. You know what I mean? I was seven like, so <laughs> Yeah, I feel like in a sense because. I think in college and in school, I was very, very driven by like my future, my study. So I had a, I didn't have as much time like yeah. for guys. Yeah. So now that I'm actually at an older age, not older, like I'm still young, but like being going, like going to yeah. work, heartbroken guys. When we say, <laughs> wait, when we like, say young, like, you, are we talking? When we say what? 16 when you're in school, age? that's that's I'd child, say that's young. To Twenty one. I think. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. but we're still young. No, we are young. No, we are. We are I'm still young. But, but, yeah. Yeah. but no, the advice we've given yeah. today can also apply to out to us, to us as well, to us as well. I mean, yeah, but, but specifically still, for this part, I would like, take yeah. the sixteen to twenty. Yeah. I feel like it's this, good to have it younger. Yeah. Just listen, get it out of the way. Because you just don't go to college. What's gonna happen? Yeah. You'll be fine. You have to go to work. True. Yeah. Obviously, I feel like when you're young. Unfortunately, you just get into situations where you're young, yeah. you don't know better. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if you have opportunities to listen to things like this, listen to us because we're, we're talking from a place of experience 100%. and the pain it can give, like it can take you back a few years. <laughs> no, 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 100%. No. I it, <laughs> <laughs> like I lost, I had a fight gap. I know I look slim, but I had a fight gap. I was confused. Like Mario. there was times where, whoa. <laughs> well, you're and you don't even, like people were telling you, oh, you're losing so much weight. And it's literally like, like people be excited for you. Like how, no, how are no, you no, losing weight? No, no. Depression. Like, <laughs> you know when I mean? say like, like I used depression. to call my best friend and she had to, stay on the phone to me when I sleep. Like, you shouldn't have to go through that at a young age. It's not fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's no, not but fair. it makes you stronger. I feel like all of I don't want to be strong anymore. It makes you I don't, know, I don't you know, want to be it strong. Lies, but it's hindsight. It's hard. It, I don't, so if anyone, if anyone, but I think it hence makes But I feel like now, for example, like, okay, let's say I'm heartbroken. I know I'm going to be fine. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? You are aware that, you know. Oh, yeah, that's about you. Yeah, you will be fine. You're going to actually make it out of it. Whereas when it's sort of, your first one or like you feel like oh my goodness Ooh, my whole see. world is yeah. crashing around me it's like let's be for real mm -hmm. we're young we're not going to meet the love of our life the yeah, first right. time around yeah. do you get what I'm saying so just embrace it take the lessons be sad and just move on like don't let yeah. it make you hard in your heart or I'm never going to trust yeah. no one of course not what? and don't settle yeah. in it yeah. too much as well because yeah. the thing is though, it, you can, it can easily turn you better exactly yeah. and it's yeah. like, yeah. that's what you don't, don't want don't sit in that yeah don't sit in that sadness would you say you've had a bitter period um, you know what? Maybe not outwardly, but for me, it was kind of like, I wouldn't say bitter, but it made me like question myself. Oh, wow. So it, it did. It wasn't like, okay, cool. When I was going through that, it was like the whole questioning, like, why not me? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, mm. or comparing yourself to that yeah. girl or like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, G, like you do you get what I mean? And it's yeah, just yeah. like, why not me? Like, what, you know what I mean? And not, not even specifically 
yeah, just like yeah, you do. Com- yeah, you know, like, why was not I um, good enough or good like you know what I mean? Yeah. And stuff. Then you remember, oh no, it's me. I am it's good enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. You just you don't know what to do with good things. Not everyone knows how to handle yeah. it. And I feel like that's what comes yeah. with age. Like yeah. if I went through what I'm going through now when I was younger, I'll be thinking, oh my goodness, like yeah. why am I? Not? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then you realize as you, when, you, especially when you're sure in yourself, you're thinking, I know who I am. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm a catch. So if there's an issue, it's on your side. Your side. Do you know what I'm saying? And understanding that and having the maturity to be like, okay, you know. Everybody is not for everyone. Yeah. I'm, maybe I'm just not your cup of tea. Maybe, yeah. you know, things things go wrong. There's lots of reasons as to why it may not have worked out. Yeah. But not internalising that and thinking, oh, it's, it's like, what's wrong with me or whatever. Mm. It's so important because, like, otherwise, you, as Mariam said, you'll be bitter. Like, I don't feel like I let experiences turn me bitter because that means you won. Yeah. Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I'm still me. If anything, I think I'm too nice to men. Maybe this is the problem. <laughs> I am too nice no, to men. I'm... Maybe I need to start being rude or something. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's just like, you can't be like, I'm yeah. not going to start being rude or being this because of like, no, because you're just a weirdo and there's yeah. other people out there that are, do you know what I'm saying? Like, let you let can't it let it change you. you. Yeah. I feel like yeah. Yeah. when I was younger, yeah, I definitely think, I don't think I was weird, but I definitely had my men are trash period. I feel like everyone did. I feel like- Is that even a phase? That's reality, yeah. Mariam. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but yeah. I definitely think that there's really good men out there. I don't and I'm so really optimistic to you eventually get that love that I will get yeah. and I'm very happy to wait for it. I didn't have that. I didn't have that like men are Yeah, no, I used to be like, I feel like, like everything I'd be like, oh no, I hate men, hate men. And I used yeah. to say, and I didn't want that to be, and you have to be really careful of what you put yeah. out there. Yeah. But I'm, when I pray to God, I always say like, I can't, I'm so excited. It's crazy. Yeah. Like I don't even know who, where he is or who I'm going to marry, but yeah. I'm so excited for it because I know it's going to be crazy. It's going to yeah. be like, I know when it's me, like, you know, <laughs> when it's my turn, no one's going to sleep because no. when I was, when I couldn't sleep, no one was checking for me. So when it comes to my turn, I'm so excited and I feel like you should be positive enough to know, okay, I'm young, but yeah, that's a good thing. You're young. So in the future, yeah. something great's going to come. And it's like, wait for it. Like, be so patient. Of course, unfortunately for like social media now, there's so much examples of love online, mm. people getting so many things. And sometimes I even look at I'm thinking, mm-mm. Like, I mean, like, I mean, like, you see so many things but just remembering that it's okay firstly they're only showing us the good things and that might even be their reality and I big yeah. them up for that but just knowing that your time will come and yeah. please like, I, I'm scared of people who can't be by themselves like I'm literally petrified oh of my people goodness. who are continuously in relation and that's, let's get into it if I'm judging then I'm judging because I'm so scared I find that so scary like is there a reason why you always have to be with someone mm. like people that always have to be with someone. I find that scary and I don't know where that stems from, but I would wish that you can learn to enjoy yourself, just mm-hmm. be by yourself. Because firstly, there's more peace. You don't have to think of anyone's doing you wrong. Yeah. You don't have to think if you're trying, like there's no anxiety with mm-hmm. it because love is a is a risk. Like yeah. you need to be, are you willing to take a risk and like bet on this? So I feel like, yeah. It's just yeah, being by yourself. Important. Yeah. If you're young, just be by yourself. It's okay. Especially after a relationship. Listen, be o- you'll be fine. Just be okay. Like be okay by yourself first. Mm-hmm before you can be okay with anyone else. Yeah. Right. Heal, get to know yourself, be happy again, all of these things. Don't feel like because, oh, you want to jump from one person to the next person to make you feel better. You're still going to take all those re- unresolved issues and emotions into the next person. And I feel like a lot of men do that as well. Do you get what I'm saying? They take all their problems from the last girl. They want to come and put it on you. I'm not her, please. Awesome. Do you get what I'm saying? Be by yourself, yeah. heal by yourself, enjoy, and then go to other people knowing that you know you you can give them your best ver- the ver- the best version of yourself yeah. rather than trying to just be from one person to the next so you don't feel sad you don't feel lonely if you're lonely call a friend listen Honestly, and like yeah. call a friend call a friend is enough to be getting bun for no reason. like <laughs> what's the meaning <laughs> like honestly mm-hmm. if you guys don't know a bun is just bun is everything <laughs> Like, we don't like bun here. That's why girls start giving bun to men too. They won't bun them back. Because like, this, uh, no, I'm joking. Just no, that's not the message of the yeah, day. Yeah, that's not, that's not, don't give them bun. That's, 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 that's not Don't give them bun. Just don't give them time of day at all. Mm. Until a man is pursuing you. And I, when I was young, I would say, if you can't breathe without you. But until a man makes it very clear with his intentions, as well as his actions to back it up, that he wants mm-hmm. you. Just be by yourself. Yeah. But because you know what? It's easier like said than done, Marianne, because I feel like <laughs> these men, the, I'm going to be so honest. I don't believe this. Guys, they will take you home to their family house. You will mm. be meeting the siblings, parents, cats, dogs. It doesn't matter. They will do all of this stuff. People are so good at putting up a facade. Do you get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. And don't ever feel like, oh my gosh, what did I do wrong? Yeah. You can take responsibility for the part you played and yeah. you know reflect on it moving forward. I can learn these lessons. Mm-hmm. But you know, there are people out there that are genuinely bad again, people. You always can have your guard up. So I would say to add to what you're saying, just you just be good in your heart. Because you see yeah. if you're, you, you are good, you didn't do anything wrong and you put your whole heart into exactly. it. Exactly, it's easier to get over. You can sleep at night yeah. that. Because oh, you know you from your part. Oh, that's just, you just don't exactly. have to handle yeah. that. Exactly, yeah. And that's, that's what that. it is. When you do things from a place of love, never do things for people thinking, oh, if I do this, then da, da, da. No, do it from a place of love. Yeah. When you know yourself and you know that you're giving out 
you know, you're hundred percent, you're being real. Anything is not a loss because you've, you know, what you've done was genuine on your side. You kept it genuine. If they couldn't handle that, that's fine. But like being able to like, sort of like get back up from that. Don't let it keep you down. Oh my gosh. I was so real to him. Mm -hmm. And then he did, listen, sister, you're not the first one. <laughs> you're not the only one. You ain't be like, there. move on. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay. Accept that. He'll be sad. Then be happy again. Move on. The person that you're supposed to be with is out there. Do you get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's more mature. That's better in every way like that's what you need to sort of keep in mind rather than trying to sort of like let these situations turn you you know cold or bitter or like uh-uh I feel like yeah. there's one like thing that I wanted to talk about as well like when my mom asked me like what is one thing that I would actually pass on to like a younger black lady or what I would say like if I was like 16 again like what I would want someone to tell me even not even just like about relationships but just in life in general so I feel like coming into like the job world like the nine-to-five world mm. is so scary because mm. there's not much like people don't as much as like people are like pushing it now mm. there's not much out there like how you're meant to navigate through it as a yeah. black woman yeah mm. and it's so crazy because I was listening to a podcast the other day and it was saying that black women are the least likely to ask for a raise Mm -hmm. and to actually leave a job that they're overqualified for. Mm. Wow. That means you're settling. Mm -hmm. oh, you know yeah, what I mean? And like, again, like not even just romantic relationships, but make sure you're not settling across the board. Exactly. Like in work, you, like you go into work and you can negotiate as well. So I was talking mm -hmm. to one of our friends actually, and she was like, she's in a really good job. But when she got into the job, she was like, she felt like she couldn't, she didn't have any leverage. Mm -hmm. like so she couldn't like basically ask for a high wage like she was really happy with the wage but like, yeah. she couldn't ask for a high wage and I, I've like my previous role was a really good role but I felt like I knew it was lower than the average mm -hmm. like that market role, yeah. like price yeah. but I was just like you know I'm just happy that they like it was a really good firm and everything I was like you know I'm just happy that they want that they have me yeah sometimes mm -hmm. ha being happy to be there's not enough you get what I mean no, yeah, yeah that is so and true I was like, and I was like when we was talking about it I was like no one tells you this though it's true. and how to negotiate because it's fine to be like you have to negotiate your salary but how do you because you have to know that if they have offered you a role it's because they want you there they see what and they see have, that yeah. what you have and they see your potential exactly. so that is your that's your leverage basically mm -hmm. so leverage that and make sure that when you're stepping into rooms imposter syndrome is real exactly yeah. and especially as a black woman like you mm -hmm. feel like you're not meant to be here. Well, I should just be, let me just- You know what I mean? Like quiet or like, role. you know what I mean? Yeah. Or like even just like sit quietly in the corner. No, like if you are, if you've been given that role, make sure that you do it to the best of your ability. And I know it's a lot, but you are representing more than just yourself. And I know it's annoying as black, black, black yeah. people in general, like yeah. you have to but be that token just, black person, the, yeah. but you do. And that's the, that's the weight that we have 100%. to carry. I totally agree yeah. with that. I think it's so, so important that you said that like people, whatever role you're in, if you they're giving you the job, they know that you're able to do the role. Yeah. Never settle. If you feel like there's more out there for you, like I was saying to Cersei, I'm happy to always move around. Like you can mm -hmm. be something you enjoy, but there's always going to be better out there. Yeah. There's always going to be a 100%. higher salary role. There's always going to be a role where you have, um, you know, better company work culture. So yeah. especially when you're young, this is a time to just navigate, move around, get your experience and go, do not settle anywhere just because, oh, or the title of the name of the job. Oh, I'm just happy to be here. Don't just be happy yeah. to be here. Because yeah. other races, they will question them, be like, no, this is what I want. Yeah. So be assertive, but also be respectful. Yeah. I'm not saying go into industry and be like, I need this and stuff, but yeah. and a man be, be confident in yourself. And, yeah. learn, and learn those things. Because I feel like what you were saying about negotiating, like, I didn't even know that was a thing. I'll be mm. so real. When I finished, they, first, guys, <laughs> yeah, I was I, a student. I, I was didn't know. I wouldn't even got them. Yeah. Yeah. My friend was just like, yeah, I said this. And I was like, oh my gosh, why Listen. didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm happy with the salary. Like, thank God. But I feel like she was like, she was lost. Says, like, yeah, man, I'm not gonna lie. I told them this. I was just like, did you? Like, <laughs> you know, because I hate my other ones. So yeah, like, yeah, when you get experience, like now, it's like, you know, I'll have this conversation yeah. when I'm going to work somewhere new because it's like, I feel confident to do so. But when yeah. you first start, it's sort of like, okay, well, that's the pay. That's the pay then. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? No. Well, like, that's what that's what it is. You need to be confident in yourself, confident in your abilities. You know, speak to other people in your industry. Try to do as much as you can and be as much as you can because yeah. you deserve it just as much as the next person. Right. You know, men feel more confident. Yeah. Other people from different backgrounds huh? feel more confident. So 
men will ask you? for the highest, even Listen. double the salary that they're offering. Listen. So please, like, don't second guess yourself. Exactly. You got an experience or stuff like that. It will come, and if they've chosen you, they've chosen you for, for a reason. reason. So even if you don't speak about salary in the interview, when they've offered you that role and you see the salary, mm-hmm. if it's something that you know that you should not be taking or you know that you deserve do more, better, yeah. like do your research see what the market is saying if the average is 65 do not take 60 mm-hmm. and the worst they can do is say no yeah, yeah i literally said something like the worst they could do is say no and if they say no okay fine you still yeah. got the job to get i'm saying yes but it's just it's worth yeah. a try and it's just like it, it represents other stuff do you get yeah. what i'm saying and represents you pushing for more in the workplace just as you said across the board and talk to people about yeah. the salary please Go into that workplace and talk. <laughs> because yeah, people yeah. don't like to talk about salaries. Oh my goodness. People don't like to talk about salaries. Please literally discuss salaries. <laughs> literally. That's <laughs> a whole thing. I'm not even joking. That is a whole thing yeah. because like there's been situations where like you know when you start somewhere and you're new and it's like, yeah. Oh what are you and the people that are like, hold on, how yeah. are you being offered that? And I'm, do you get what I'm saying? So and I'm like, like, hey, I make yeah. don't say to me. Yeah. Like, I remember other roles, I was like, hey, don't come and spoil me. I don't No, but, but it's good that's kind of Don't come and spoil my bag. Because it's people like, it's yeah. like, yeah, don't be afraid to like speak up about that. Listen. And that's so important. There was something else as well, like also um, when going into was it going into interviews so yeah so being yourself unapologetically in yes. workplaces as well mm-hmm. i go into work with my fro wow. and it's so crazy like and that's what's so funny so i always get those reactions like wow like how can how do you do that and it's that my hair this is my hair naturally yeah. my hair you think i have to wake up every morning to change it for you, <laughs> do, you so get me? do you get what i mean <laughs> and it's just like it's things like that and just like just being unapologetically black like yeah you don't and you don't have to you know if if th- that's what black is to me anyway you know what i mean mm-hmm. do whatever yeah. you want to do but i feel like you don't have to change yourself because even like there's you know when they say that like, code switching oh my god i'm the queen of it hey i did i did want to have a call with you i did, I did give you... no, no 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 let me show you wait, wait, wait one second nah yes I yes like yes that's me yes i did have a call with you and oh no toodles you do have a nice week. No, no. I don't know. I don't I know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She coaches to the extent that I mute myself because I don't even want even. I, like, when my friends are on the phone to me and I'm at work, they're like, you're so fake. But it's like, it's not, it's just because yeah. I'm nice to you guys. Yeah. And you can understand that report. I just want to be as nice as oh, I am myself. Because I've seen that I work with people and I work yeah. with patients. I want yeah. them to be comfortable. So I do, I'd make sure yeah, they feel com- as comfortable. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But there's, yeah. But it's like, it, it definitely is a thing where it's like, <laughs> the no, it's yeah, like that way it killed me. <laughs> oh, I knew that. I could, oh, let me say one thing I said at work. I was like, <laughs> I remember I was on the phone to my best friend and I was just like, um, one second, um, um, Amy, just going to nip out quick. Nip. <laughs> <laughs> Safe. You know what I said? Like, <laughs> like, like, marry me. Said nip. <laughs> what is because nip? You know what? It's fine if that was your normal term, but I know you. That is not what you do. I'm not nipping out anymore. Anyway. I'm gonna pop out. <laughs> I'm gonna pop out. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I can't. I'm reading myself at work. Like yeah. I be saying things. I even be putting on, putting them on. Like and yeah, I'm happy to be. My, I don't like move crazy and be dancing up in the thing. But mm. I'm, I'm myself. Yeah. But I'm also respectful. But I'm also very calm. Yeah. And one more thing I'm gonna say about the workplace is. Know when to speak and when not to speak. Mm-hmm. Don't be saying all your business. You see me when I get in, I just get in and I get out. I'm mm-hmm. nice to my colleagues. We have a great time. I love my team, mm-hmm. but I don't do the most. Be saying, like, understanding, gossiping with anyone. Oh. I just do what I need to do. I do my part. <laughs> just being very cautious of when to speak yeah. and how to navigate yourself yeah. through that. But I always say, yes, just be yourself and just be happy. Just be confident in where you are because you are there for a reason and you, they gave you the role. I'm sure there's other races and you got the role specifically, yeah. so they knew that you could do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. It's always nice when you work with a good team. Like, I'm so blessed. Every I'm single so, person yeah. I've worked with is so amazing and yeah. I love all of them, like mm-hmm. my colleagues and everything. I work at really nice practices, but it's like, even in regard, it's like not, you know, get be don't not being messy or you mm-hmm. know get yourself involved that things don't that don't concern mm-hmm. you. Unfortunately, that's what we can being professional. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like be professional, be kind, be polite, go the extra mile if you can. If you don't want to, as well, just do your work and go home. Do you get what I'm yeah, saying? Literally. But like, if you are like, I'm so passionate about what I do that I will sort of do those things, and you don't want to jeopardize that by you know, yeah, having these little little things get in the yeah, way. Do you know good. what I mean? Like, you can be yourself, be unapologetically you, have your personality and stuff, mm-hmm. and still be professional. A hundred percent, and you can do both. Exactly. Like, I think that's what it is yeah. as well. Like, I feel like code switching is so funny because there's a difference between code switching, that like saying you're going to nip out, and then and then actually being someone who you're not. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think that's what is crazy. Like, and feeling like you have to do that because yeah. of the setting that you're in. Like, I feel like 
it's so funny because in my last workplace we kind of had like an ACS oh, wow. in the workplace and it was so funny because some of them not all of them but some of them it was like you are totally different outside of work than you are in like around certain people and it's just like you shouldn't have to be like that you shouldn't have to feel like that Mm -hmm. and as you said you can be black and you can be professional exactly and i feel like for some people that's two different things Mm -hmm. you know i mean it's not one thing but it it, can be you can be professional and it's like when you say like oh like what is black though but you, you can be yourself yeah. mm-hmm. like you know what i mean whatever you're, whatever black is to you you can be yourself and just like just know that you can be yourself and you can be professional mm-hmm. because the whole narrative that that black people are ratchet black people are this black people that is out it's just not true yeah, yeah. just to finish us off um is there one if you tell say one thing to your younger self just give me that one thing that you would say um i would say you're doing amazing oh my gosh like <laughs> literally you're doing amazing no no like, if you could go back to your younger self like, yes you are oh, doing okay <laughs> <laughs> I said yeah, what yeah. I said, like, literally be nice to yourself. Like, you're doing amazing. You're doing exactly what you should be doing. Mm-hmm. Keep going, keep striving, keep trying. Mm-hmm. You're not going to believe the future. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like if I was to see myself now when I was younger, I'd be like, oh, my God. Yeah. Everything worked yeah. out fine. Do you know what I mean? But at the time, you worry about this, you worry about that. Yeah. God's plan will always happen. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? So just be happy, be yourself, make yourself happy. Do, have more fun. Yeah. Don't be so worried. Yeah, to echo yeah. That, I'll just say to my younger self, enjoy your youth mm-hmm. and make every moment matter. Like when I look back at college, I was thinking I was so wayward and I love it, but not wayward. Like I was just outside and yeah. just yeah. loud. I'm, just, fun. I'm so happy, but I didn't cherish it as much. I like, look at my thinking I miss those days. I feel like that always happens. You always miss yeah. those days, but I would just say, enjoy your youth and just enjoy every step of the way and just be optimistic about the future. So that's yeah. what I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say just like, obviously have fun, enjoy it and just focus as well though. Mm-hmm. Like focus, focus on what you need to focus on right everything else will come just do what you need to do and have fun while you're doing it and everything will literally work out like it's fine that's amazing oh my gosh that was amazing thank you so much